Yep, that's what this is. First thing first, get 7-zip. It's a free archiver that's better and faster than WinZip, and LearnFun, PlayFun is compressed into a 7-zip archive, so we might as well use it. And of course you need LearnFun, PlayFun, so download and unpack it to your preferred destination. And finally, you need FCE UX. Uh, there are other emulators around, of course, but this is the only one that's guaranteed making outputs that are compatible with LearnFun and PlayFun. Now we need to record a replay, which the AI should learn from, so start the emulator and load the ROM. Then go to File, Menu, Movie and press Record Movie. Make sure Record From is set at Start and give it a name. Now play the game as normally and try not to suck. Uh, usually I record around 3 minutes of gameplay to make sure everything is covered, though I'm not really sure if it matters that much if it's the same mechanics over and over again. One minute for an easy game or a simple game like this should be more than enough. And when you're happy with your replay and you're done, just press stop movie. Uh, the next step is optional, but highly recommended. Edit out any unneeded key presses from the start menu in the replay file, so the AI won't pay attention to the start button again. Or it might try to pause the game constantly. As you see here, I accidentally pressed B a few times on the start menu, so I'm editing out those as well, and just making sure the first press of the start button stay. Make sure you only edit out start key presses after the first one, or else the replay will desync. Also, make sure you don't just delete lines, but actually replace the key press with a punctuation mark, or again, else it will desync. Highly recommended that you test your replay afterwards in the emulator. Now copy the replay and the ROM into your LearnFun PlayFun folder. Next step is to create the config file for LearnFun. Create a new file named config.txt and edit it. On the first line you type in game and then the name of the ROM, without the last name of the file. On the second line you type movie and then the full name of the replay file, including the last name. Make sure to press enter after the second line, so you create a new empty third line, or learn fun is going to crap itself. Now you simply start learn fun and wait for it to finish. Do not close the window, it might look like it's done, even say it's done, but it will close itself when it's really done. Now the hard part, starting PlayFun correctly. Now PlayFun works in a little peculiar way. You have to start an instance of the program that talks on local ports for every logical core in your CPU. Now that sounds hard, but I'll explain and show you. The hard and tedious and bad way of doing it is to start a command shell for every single core like I do here. You have to do this for every logical core you have. For every core you increase the port number by 1, so the first one is 8000, the second one is 8001 and so on. My CPU has 8 cores so I have to do this 8 times. Now this both looks bad and is tedious to do, so here's an example of a batch file I made to automate the process. However, to get colors and correct formatting you have to start it through ANSICON, which is already in the folder. ANSICON works just like a normal CMD command shell, but supports ANSI formatting which PlayFun uses. Without it it's hard to keep track of what's going on. Just start ANSICON and run the batch through it. Or do it manually by typing every single one if you like to torture yourself. Now that the helpers have started, you need to start the master part of PlayFun, so we go back to the main ANSICON window. Again you can do this the tedious way by typing it in like this, or create a batch for it. Starting the master is only one single line and you have to tell it all the ports that are in use.
Again, I recommend using batch files so you don't mess up and you don't have to type it ever again. Just like the helpers, the master should be started through Ansicon to get the correct formatting and colors. Playfun is now running and will spit out a new replay file every now and then, which you can view in the emulator. Remember, Playfun uses hours to create only a few seconds of replay files, and days for a few minutes. During this time it is hogging all your CPU power, but we can of course work around that so your computer doesn't become completely useless during that time. First way is to simply lower the priority on your processes. Start Task Manager, go to Details, sort by name and find the Playfun processes. Then put every one of them on low. Then you will be able to use your computer, but Playfun still gets full speed whenever you're not. Uh, the second option is to reduce the amount of cores you're using by starting less helpers, but that limits Playfun to a lower speed permanently. And that's it.